everybody, I am Michelle and welcome. Today we are going to talk about puzzles and the importance of puzzles, especially in a play with a purpose approach. So behind me, I have started to sort puzzles and go through puzzles. And as you can see, there's a lot on these shelves and it's a bit overwhelming. So I wanna just take some out because toy rotation is really important as well in the Play of Purpose program. It's a small selection for my daughter of puzzles that she is currently interested in. And then below down there, a small selection of puzzles for my son. And I'm going to take you guys on the journey with me so that you can see what puzzles am I choosing, why am I choosing them, how are they building it, and why it's such an awesome concept. Now, before we do all of those things, I quickly want to talk to you guys about the fact if you are a parent you need to have puzzles and you need to encourage your children to build them and to build them properly and that's why I have this handy dandy board okay so it's a board that my husband made it is designed by me and the founder of the play purpose program and it is a puzzle sorting bo uh, board and I will show you guys in more detail how it is and how we use it. So, puzzles is so critical if you want children to be good at maths, thinking skills, it stimulates fine motor, gross motor, visual discrimination, oh my word, I can go crazy about it. You can use your puzzles for language development. You can use your puzzles for geographical knowledge. You can use your puzzles almost for anything. They are such an awesome concept and they're such an easy thing to find. And you know always that it's not too difficult and it's a good choice to choose. So I'm going to show you guys the puzzles I have and how we are going to sort through them and which puzzles I'm going to choose that is going to stay. Uh, hey, have you met my new videographer? Huh, buddy? Yeah, that's you! <laughs> so today, we are going to sort out the puzzles behind me. As you can see, there's quite a lot of puzzles and I think it's a bit too much option for my kids. So, I am going to pull them all out. I'm going to show you guys what we have and I'm going to show you guys how I sort it, what I choose and why I choose it. So, we are going to do this with a play with purpose approach in mind. So, I hope you enjoy. Alright, so as you guys can see, I just laid out all the pick puzzles that I have. So the first thing is this one. This one can go to just the side there. This one I'm going to keep. So this is actually a puzzle that was uh, a taste. Um, and I bought one lace knob, so I actually just need to go buy a knob. This is actually such a lovely puzzle because my son do enjoy it, even though it's just like a prototype. So we are still trying to figure out how to make this. Um, but yeah, it, it was a fun experiment. Um, he still plays with it. He does circles right now, so that's a good one. This one, is, he's not really doing, even though I really like it because that's the picture behind it. He doesn't really play with this one, so I'm going to put that one to the side with its mate over there. And I will bring this one out a little bit later. Okay, this nail puzzle, I'm actually going to keep out. Reason being is these are like ovals, so he kind of has to figure out how to put them in. So I'm actually going to keep this one out. That's one that he's going to play with. Okay, next one is this adorable cat puzzle. Um, even though it has these circles, they like kind of semi-circles and it's a bit too complicated for him right now. Then I've got this beautiful dinosaur and actually wrote at the back, we can see he ate these pieces. I actually wrote at the back the dinosaur names for each piece. And this is actually for language development. So my daughter is done with big puzzles. She built bigger puzzles. But every now and then we can just pop out these pieces. And we can look at them and we can play with them. And we can also actually just 
say the name and she can do 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 create all world with those so that's one way that I use puzzles for that so this one he is not doing this right now he is just chewing it you can see there's like two marks on it so I am going to put that off to the side this one as well it's actually really cute like a little dressing thing my daughter still plays with this one the other one is this puzzle now this puzzle and this puzzle is basically the same concept so you got your pieces that you will put in to the side here and then you use this little fishing rod to aim which helps with hand-eye coordination pick it up and to put it back in and then you can of course bolt the puzzle inside of the frame only thing he does with this rod is smack his sister so I'm going to pack that one away and I'm also going to put this one away for now put the fish back. so those two is a no-go now this is actually such a cool puzzle this puzzle I actually got from a friend of mine who is moving I think these words down there is in German. So, so what I am going to do, and I am just seeing that these pieces are on the wrong spot. This lady needs to go there, and that lady needs to go there. I am like watching and not doing a proper thing. Yeah, so I'm gonna. Move. So what I am going to do is I can actually Google Translate these words, and I can put in the right words for there. So they are moving to Germany, and I think she actually used this perhaps as an educational way to teach your children German okay this puzzle we got my son for his birthday now this is kind of with the other ones it's complicated and everything else but the pieces are nice and big I am actually going to keep it out as a challenge puzzle now because he can do these two that we're keeping it circles I'm going to keep out the challenge puzzle and I'll give you guys an update when he is building this one. So, the pile. The next one is this fun farm one and definitely when we go to a farm area that's up close here to us um, and I'll bring you guys along. I will bring this puzzle out and it can become a lovely talking piece to my daughter of things she saw. And I will actually show you guys how we will play this puzzle after we've been there and use it. But for now, it is going into not keep pile. Then this, oh, this one. Okay, my son loves this one. You can see this puzzle is well loved. Look at the poor horn. Oh my goodness. See if I can fix that. But when you pull out the pieces, the wheels on the bus go round. and now that you've heard that and you have the song stuck in your head, I'll put it back. I'm keeping out this puzzle because my son actually actively tries and bolt this. So he can put the wheel in and every now and then he can get the bigger shapes in. But shapes like the horn that's a little bit odd he struggles with and these ones. These are also all different types of shapes. I don't know what shape the horn will count as but... You can see these two are, I forgot what you call them. Um, this one is almost like a trapezium. I don't know what you call this shape. But in any way, mathematicians, help me there. But these ones are absolutely lovely because it sings, it attracts him. He wants to play with this one. Definitely in the key pile. Let me bring it to the key pile. There we go. So that is for my son. So I'm going to put these back and space them properly so we don't have too many. And the rest I'm going to pack away for rotation later on. Hey buddy, did you find a puzzle you like? Must we, must we show them? Huh? Is this fun? Because one piece with my son's wooden spoon. <laughs> I did forget to tell you guys about is this one this is like a shape sort of one so you got the different pieces here with the different shapes I am packing away until he's a bit older because it's a nice way to transition him from the shape shorter bucket onto something more flat to get him to understand more puzzle building and then let me show you guys quickly back here so I put all the puzzles down so it's only one level 
Um, I only struggled with that one. That was a bit of a challenge there. But everything is on one level. It's easy to grab. It's easy to build. It's not intimidating. The choices are limited. So I think he's going to be Okay, this. so I took all the puzzles that were on my daughter's side of shelf off. And we are going to look at them now. This puzzle, I am actually... It's a beautiful puzzle. We use in South Africa the ball and stick notation. So this is the correct writing that we use here in South Africa. So that's why I love this puzzle. But this puzzle is quite big. She does get it right and she is only starting to take an interest in the letters. So I am actually going to take this puzzle and I am going to use it as a specific toy for us to learn something. And I'm going to show you guys how we are going to learn phonics and phonetics and all that words using that one. Now this is also another lovely puzzle. As you can see it has all the different pieces that goes with it and it's a smaller puzzle. But again for exactly the same reason I'm not going to do that. The big thing I don't like about this puzzle is this isn't for us we say G for gate and this is a J giraffe. I know it starts with a G, but the phonic is not right. So, anything I'm faulting with that puzzles. Okay, the next one is this puzzle. This is a lovely big floor puzzle, and I think it's, yeah, it's a 24 piece. My daughter is starting to build 24 piece. So, I'm definitely going to keep this one as a big floor puzzle out for her. Now, let me tell you why this puzzle is super, super special. I think my daughter just got home. Give me two seconds to say hi. All right, we were busy with this puzzle. So this puzzle here used to be my husband's and he used to play with it as a little boy. So the fact that it has made a full circle back, it's actually used to be in the nursery school. <laughs> Can you have my son's feet? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so this used to be actually in a nursery school and you guys can see that they fixed it multiple times as part of our toy repair workshop. Are you going to try and build it little buddy? Yeah. Oh perfect, remember? Gentle hands. <laughs> Alright, so that one is going to go in the key pass. This is another fun puzzle, um, but it is a play with me. It's only a 15 piece puzzle. It's a large jigsaw puzzle, but I'm going to put this puzzle away for exactly, and there's my dog, exactly the same reason that it has a purpose to play with. Okay. The next one, before my battery runs out, is this one. So this one is a multiple one, and if you can see there, it has a 4, 6, 8, and 12 piece. She's built this multiple times. She is no longer interested in it. So I am going to put it over there. We're not going to play with that because she's done. It will come out for my son. And then she's probably going to play with it. So this is the next one. She is currently building 24P. So definitely keeping that one out together with this 24P. So there we go. Another puzzle that is kind of a challenge puzzle is this one i absolutely love this one so if you flip it let's see if i get it right oh goodness me it has a different puzzle on it how awesome is that so they actually have to match all the cubes together to figure out the picture there definitely keeping that one so the next puzzle is this one and that has the different size puzzles inside of it. So the biggest one I think is here is 20 piece. So definitely keeping this one out for her. She is actually still building 18 piece as well. And she really loves this puzzle. She loves animals. So keeping that one. And then I'm going to flip myself. Because I'm going to show you guys the puzzles that's on this side. That we unfortunately are not going to keep out. So this is a two piece. She's over that. This is a two, three, and four piece. She's over that. This one, she plays with, but um, yeah, over that. This is a smaller puzzle. She's done with that. And then, this is a two piece puzzle, a nine piece puzzle, another two piece puzzle. This one is actually fun to put all the sensory stuff on it. So these are all two piece puzzles, and she has built all of them. 
my son is not there yet so I am actually going to pack all of these away and only keep that pile in the shelf it goes so how does this look right now so judging from what it looked like to this that is a huge difference 